You'll find the decoration tool right above the eraser tool. It's like these star, twinkly stars. Click on that and it'll take a second because it has a lot of materials in it the first time you open it. And there's quite a few options in here and they basically all let you do decorations and effects like the, the sounds. And uh, let me just show you one. So the first one is star A and uh, I'm gonna make this a little larger. And that's, I'm going to make it black too, so you can see it. Okay, so it just lays down decorations and it varies it and it offers quite a bit of uh, variation. <laughs> so it's pretty incredible because it looks, it can look very natural. It's not like a very monotonous, monotonous pattern. It's, it's quite amazing how much variation it gets. And you can also change whether things like pen pressure will affect the size of these and so on. So yeah, it's pretty remarkable. There's tons and tons of um, different effects and shapes in here. I'm not going to go through all of them, but uh, let's just take a look at a few. Hatching is not really a thing like a star. It's like cross crossing your lines to give you kind of like a, a shaded or a rough look. So let's take a look at these. So that's some hatching. That's it's more like a, I don't know how you would describe that. It looks almost like charcoal or something. But this, this could be useful for shading or things like that. Lots of really cool uses you can come up with for these lines. Cross hatching. It's not cross hatching. No, it is. This is very, very uh, thick. <laughs> okay. And I mean, used to, it used to be like when you worked on paper, you'd have to do this by hand, and it could take hours to do things that you can do in seconds. Now it's it's pretty amazing. Of clothing. I'm gonna clear this. Now I was uh, I've been using black as my color. But some of these, even if you have it set on black, it's going to kind of prefabricate it to its own color, if that makes sense. I think with this one, you can change. Oh, no, you can't. So changing the color for this one does nothing, essentially. It, it's locked to this kind of black and white shape and uh, or color. And some of these are like that. Some of them you can change a little, but like, for example, gold chain, uh, you cannot change the color at all. It's it's locked to gold. Vegetables. Mm, this is really slow the first time you load these, and I haven't used these in a while. So I have a tendency not to use these, but I, every time I explore them, I, I'm like reminded of how many cool things are in here that you can play around with. I mean, these are really cool shapes, and if you wanted to do like you know, a background of forest, you can just lay some of these down and you have a background. And now it's not obviously the most um, detailed background, but if it's like a distant forest, this is, I mean, I just laid down a forest in a few seconds. By calling these vegetables, I think they mean plants, but this is one of those examples of a translation issue. Just remember, this is all translated from Japanese, I believe. And uh, sometimes it could use a little cleaning up, but I think you can still figure out what they they mean. Uh, these are similar to the lines we saw earlier. Mm, larger. So yeah. Uh, I think the rest of these are pretty much self-explanatory. Blurred rainbow. Again, this is one of those tools where changing the color is not going to have any effect whatsoever. It's it's basically locked as a, as a rainbow, so there's no nothing you can do with that. I mean, there are things you can do with it, but you can't change the color. <laughs> if that makes sense. Uh, some of these are pretty interesting, like the police line. is. Uh, it actually looks pretty realistic. I mean, this would work. It, it's not like some cheap police line. It's, it's a pretty decent one, and it follows the curve, which is amazing. So... That one's upside down. Oh, so when I go that way, it's just up upside down. Interesting. Huh. 
You can tell I use that one a lot. So yeah, lots of nice effects in here. So again, these are these are all under the uh, where are we? These are all under the decoration tool, which is the sparkle. When you, it's on the initial one, it's on sparkle, and it's going to change depending on which one you have as your sub tool. And there you go.